Oh no! I got it out reaching. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go get it. Whoa! What is this, a bush or an electric force field? Hey! A doggy! An electric dog? Jesus, Venus! You're one of the rarest breeds in the entire nebula! I am going to keep you. I don't care what Mom or Galatee say. I can't resist the chance to have an electric dog. I am going to name you... Buzz! Because, well... <laughs> yeah, you seem to know why. Now, will I keep you away from Mommy when she picks us up? Hmm... So, Galatea, honey, how was your day at school? It's whatever. Oh, yeah? That sounded like an enthusiastic whatever. Well, it was whatever. But it could be an enthusiastic whatever if I could skyride myself to school. Now, Galatea, you know the rules. Yeah, yeah. No skyriding until I'm 16 years old with a skyrider license. Exactly. Well, hello, Blaze. How was your day at school? About time you made it in, little Mars bar. Now, Galatea, be nice. I am sure your brother had a hard day at school. Hey, Mommy! It sure was a hard day. I was doing advanced algebra in sixth year. Something Galatea wouldn't have the mind to figure out. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Blaze, what's under that tarp? Oh, well, Mommy, this is a top-secret sci-fi school project. Yeah. <laughs> it's on electricity! Well, be careful, honey. Don't be getting into something you can't fix. Oh, that would sure get me fixated. <laughs> it is a total safe project, Mommy. I promise. I am not Galatea or no one-wave royal of trouble. Home sweet home at last. A car ride with you two feels like a two-century ride rather than a 20-minute one. Vox, we're home! Hey, Mommy! You birthed the brain and the beast! Don't you mean beast and beauty? And by beauty, I mean my pretty self? Good afternoon, Vox is welcome home from work and school. Oh wait, wild animal in the room. Wild animal in the room. What animal where? Oh no, I forgot Vox's animal tracking sensitivity. Vox, Vox, I don't see an animal anywhere. Are you sure you're not sick? My animal instincts are on, but maybe I am off. I will get you some more. And I'm just going to my roof, my sci-fi project. <sighs> Thank God. We got out of there as quick as possible, didn't we, boy? Well, welcome home. <laughs> Shh, quieter. Uh-huh. Galaxy! I knew it. <laughs> Galatea, please, please do not Vox tax me out. I totally knew that you were totally not doing a sci-fi project when you said this tarp of yours was electric. Please, Galatea. And I totally knew you were lying about doing a sci-fi project. You never bring projects home. You're too much of a Mars bar brain bar that you do them at school. You little knick-knack. Galatea? And I totally knew you were playing that Mommy, I'm such a good student act. I just totally knew it. Okay, sis, what will it make you keep your mouth shut? Hotwire Dad Skyrider so I can drive in it at night. Okay, and what's the price for you to help me cover Buzz up? $20. $15. $25. Okay, fine, you win. Well, kids, your father decided not to show up. So typical of him to be light years late like that. Good evening, family. Sorry I'm late for dinner. You must have thought I was light years late. 
Oh, you, Marty? Never. Sit down, sit down. Have a space cow breast. <laughs> what kept you so late, Dad? Oh, you know how it is. Mr. Mazarin and his new French poodle, he needed a video from the 21st century on dog care. Vox box, not again. You must not be feeling well. Please, keep the dog quiet. I am trying, Galaxy. Sorry, Marty and Julian. I guess I am just malfunctioning. Here, I will go get you some more oil for your motherboard, Vox. Hush, shh. Did I just hear a bark? Um, no. No bark, Dad. Just me coughing. <laughs> See, Dad? Yeah, Daddy. I think Galaxy's coming down with something. She doesn't look good. She doesn't ever look good in general, but today not so much. Trying to help here. Uh, I mean, she doesn't ever look good when she's sick, but she looks good in general. My pretty promising sister. <laughs> I heard a bark again. Yep, just me coughing, Dad. <laughs> yeah, she's really hacking. I didn't see you cough, though. <coughs> well, I did. Uh, Zesus, Venus, you must really had a long day at work, Dad. Zesus, Venus, you're right, kids. I must be hallucinating. Dealing with Mr. Mazarin and his French poodle got me all loopsy. And it is Mr. Mazarin is the one that got me loopsy. Okay, Buzz, calm down. No more fucking. Oh, Buzz! Get back here! I saw a dog run out of Blaze's room. No, you didn't. Oh, an animal! Wow, Vox. You were right this entire time. Uh, oh my god, there is an electric dog in our house. What a coincidence. Ah, oh, forget the Sky Rider. You're on your own, little bro. Blaze, why is there a damn dog in my home? Uh, well, you see, I found him at the playground. And, well, I took him in and wanted to take care of him. He was such a good boy. I was feeding him and gave him water in my room. You fed him? You gave him water? Well, yeah, poor little guy needs that. And, well, yeah, I wanted him to be my own. I call him Buzz because, well, he's an electric dog. An electric dog, huh? <laughs> well, that's one way to blow up the furniture. Listen, Blaze, it was wrong of you to sneak him in without our permission. Especially because he is a stray who may have an owner looking for him. Yeah, no tags though, it seems. So I can keep him? As long as you feed, walk, and clean him. So I can keep him? And as long as you keep him off the furniture and valuables so he doesn't blow those up. So I can keep him? And make sure he does not get loose. So I'm hearing no, no. So I'm guessing I can keep the little electric fuzzball. Yes. You can keep him. And listen, little doggy. You are not touching any of my technological devices. No worries, Daddy. I will train him right. You hear that, Buzz? You are now a fox. <laughs>